guys, it's Lissy here and welcome back or to my channel. So for those of you who have been watching my channel for at least a significant amount of time, you probably know that I have this long running series on my channel where I basically dress up as different aesthetics for the video using stuff I already own in my wardrobe. And for today's video, I wanted to tackle the aesthetic of baby core because I've actually kind of wanted to do this aesthetic for a couple months and I just haven't gotten around to it and I wanted to do it today. So baby core and kid core do have some overlap with each other and I have done kid core in a separate video which will be linked in the like right upper hand corner of the screen. So there is some overlap between the two aesthetics. But the main difference between the two aesthetics is that kid core kind of has more to do with like older kids that haven't reached teenager, being teenagers yet. So though that would be like probably between the ages of like five and twelve. And baby core has more to do with like toddler fashion, specifically girly toddler fashion. That doesn't mean you have to wear like diapers or pacifiers or whatever, but it's kind of like girly toddler fashion, if you get what I mean. And another difference between the two is that kid core relies more on like bright and colorful visuals and baby core has more like pastel washed out colors and is more cutesy. There are like this aesthetic can be brighter like you can use like bright neon colors in this aesthetic but it is mostly supposed to be like more pastel or washed out colors. So now that you know the basics of the baby core aesthetic we are now going to move on to the fashion in the aesthetic as well. Like I said earlier, this aesthetic actually has a lot to do with girly toddler fashion, although while you can wear diapers, onesies, pacifiers, stuff like that, a lot of the fashion actually leans more towards the girly side of it. So this aesthetic includes a lot of ruffled dresses, ruffled socks, Mary Jane shoes, ballet slippers, sweaters, graphic tees, mini skirts, stuff like that. And as far as accessories go, this aesthetic actually has a lot of accessories. And what I mean by that is, in a lot of aesthetics that I've done previously, there aren't that many accessory options. Like, there's a lot of options in terms of, like, the, um, the actual, like, clothing, but there isn't a lot of accessory options. But this aesthetic has a lot of accessories, and some of those include bonnets, barrettes, ribbons, beads, charms, bracelets, chokers, necklaces, band-aids, stickers, stuff like that. And also one thing I forgot to mention, there's, I don't remember if I said this earlier, but this aesthetic also includes overalls as well, which I don't own. I've been trying to get overalls, but I don't, can't find them anywhere, so I'm, pr I'm probably gonna make an outfit that's just gonna have like, I'm gonna try and like make it look like overalls later in this video. So yeah, that is basically a lot of what is part of baby core. Oh, and also a lot of stuffed animals. There's a lot of stuffed animals in baby core, which I own plenty of, so that will not be a problem. Specifically like sea creature animals, like dolphins or like um, sharks or whales or whatever. There's a lot of like, there's a lot of sea creatures. I don't know why specifically sea creatures, but general stuffed animals is also part of that. So, with that out of the way, let's just get into making some outfits. Okay, so for this first outfit, I know I said that for baby core, it's usually more pastel colors. I decided to start off with a more colorful outfit. I mean, all these outfits are colorful, but I mean like more vibrant outfit, I guess. Because I kind of, because I think this dress is like, I feel like this is kind of like the perfect dress for this aesthetic, honestly. Because it's like, kind of this is like, kind of like mid-length, um, like ruffled dress. And actually, I don't even know how old this dress is. It's probably pretty old, so I'm surprised what how it still fits on me like it's obviously definitely pretty tight especially like 
on my chest, but like, it still fits me somehow, so... I mean, I decided to wear it for this video because I thought it was perfect. And I actually just put my hair into like two low po like ponytails because I thought those were it would be kind of cute that way. And I am wearing just this white bonnet on my head as well as a couple of beaded bracelets because like I said earlier, this aesthetic uses a lot of accessories and two of those things are bracelets, specifically like beaded or like charm bracelets, so I thought these would be nice for it. And I'm also wearing some white ruffled socks and some ballet slippers. Technically the ballet slippers aren't really part of the aesthetic, but like I can kind of see them going along with baby core, so I decided to add them in to my outfit anyways. I actually have another pair of shoes right here that would probably also look good with this. But I decided to wear the ballet slippers because I wanted to do that instead. But the white shoes with the like white flowers on it, I think those would look good with this as well. I just decided to wear the ballet slippers instead. But yeah, I actually really like this outfit. I think it is really colorful and I think it definitely pretty like encompasses the spirit of baby core pretty well. And yeah, I actually do really like this outfit. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, so for this next outfit, this one is a very warm outfit considering how it is like the beginning of August right now. So it is a very warm outfit, but yeah, I think this outfit turned out pretty cute. So I am just wearing this kind of like pink fuzzy sweatshirt that kind of just has some little some sequins on it because I thought this would be pretty cute and I'm just wearing this pink mini skirt which I don't really wear much because it is very short so I don't really wear it much but I decided to wear it for this outfit and I am still wearing the white socks from before and I'm also wearing some black Mary Jane shoes because I have these from my like old private school and I haven't worn them in a while and surprisingly they like still fit me so I guess I, I don't think my feet have well I mean I guess it makes sense because my feet haven't really grown much ever since I started point so I, 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 it kind of makes sense and then I just have my hair in a ponytail and I actually put a pink bow clip at the back. I was planning on instead taking like an actual ribbon and like tying it to the back of the ponytail. But the thing is, I suck at trying to tie things from behind so I kept failing. So I decided to just grab like one of my like hair clips that was a bow because I thought that would be easier to do. And then I am also wearing a couple of hair clips on both sides, a couple of barrettes because I thought they were cute and I think they just had a little something to this outfit but yeah I actually really like this outfit I think it is really cute I was considering having a plushie as a prop for this outfit but the thing is I am going to be using some more plushies for my next couple of outfits so I decided to lay off on doing that so um yeah let's just go on to the next outfit Okay, so for this next outfit, I am wearing the closest thing I have to a onesie. Well, technically, I actually have a red panda onesie back here, but I feel like, okay, I love red pants, but I feel like it doesn't really fit the theme of this video. So I'm actually wearing this unicorn robe. I have, so it's just this like rainbow unicorn robe, and it actually has a unicorn hood on the back, which I thought was perfect, and I have a friend with me, and this is Pastel. She is my unicorn squishmallow friend. You want to say hi, Pastel? Uh, she screams very loudly, so you might want to turn down your volume here. Okay, so for this outfit, you can't see it, but under this, I'm just wearing this just like generic white t-shirt underneath it. And I am also wearing some just kind of some just like 
colorful leggings underneath and I'm also wearing these gray unicorn socks with some ballet slippers again and I feel like if I had unicorn slippers those would be perfect to go along with this outfit. I unfortunately do not have unicorn slippers and the slippers I own are falling apart so I'm just wearing my ballet slippers with this one. I'm not wearing any accessories because honestly I feel like the, everything in this outfit kind of speaks for itself. I feel like certain outfits can be kind of plain if you don't accessorize them but then other outfits they kind of just like the clothing pieces kind of just stand out on their own so you don't really need any extra like accessorizing but I think this outfit is good without any accessories with it and my only accessory is my unicorn friend here pastel so um yeah I, I really love this outfit it's it's a very it's like I guess it's uh, subjectively I think it's a pretty simple outfit but like I still think it's pretty cute and again I think it definitely encompasses the baby core aesthetic pretty well not that the other one outfits don't but I feel like I really like this outfit so um yeah it is this outfit is very hot because I'm wearing a robe again when it's like August right now so I'm gonna change into the next outfit in this video for this next outfit I am wearing yet another ruffle dress because that is kind of one of the main parts of this aesthetic and this is actually a ruffle dress that you have probably seen me wear a lot because I love this dress I think it's super cute it's technically a sundress but it still works and I have a lot of beaded accessories for this one I was debating on whether I wanted to use this bonnet again, but I decided to go for a little bit of a different thing for this one. So I'm wearing these white socks again, and I'm also wearing these white kind of like dress shoes, I guess. And like, these shoes are really pretty and they look pretty, but like, I hate wearing them because every time I walk, the Velcro like comes off while I'm walking. And then I have to adjust it again. And I just hate it. Like, they're really nice for just kind of like wearing them for like staying around. But I hate actually walking in them because they don't stay on my feet. It's really annoying. And that's probably because they're Velcro and they're not really meant for like a lot of walking. But it's really annoying. I don't like it. But anyways, I'm wearing this kind of beaded scrunchie in the back. This kind of like pearl beaded scrunchie and I'm actually wearing the two bracelets I was wearing in the first outfit because I think they work with this one as well and I am wearing my signature charm necklace because I love this charm necklace and I think it looks really cute so yeah this is like probably an outfit that you have seen me wear a lot of times before but I really like this dress and I actually really do like this outfit I think it is, it's pretty, it's like for the most part pretty simple, but I think it is really cute. So yeah, let's just move on to the next outfit. Okay, this outfit is probably the worst in this video. And the reason why is because I had an original idea of doing something different for this outfit where I was still gonna wear these like unicorn socks that I am wearing right now and this tee in this like tee graphic tee which is actually a um pajama shirt but i'm just pretending it's a regular shirt and honestly it being a pajama shirt still works pretty well but i was gonna have like this this skirt to go along with it but after i looked at the outfit i realized that the colors just really go together because like the gray kind of just like came out of nowhere where it's like all pink at the top and then there's just gray down here it just kind of looked weird so I'm instead wearing these like silver leggings and I have brought back my friend pastel because it's a unicorn shirt so I thought of bringing pastel back because you know um I and then I'm also wearing some like there's actually stickers that I put on these leggings as well as you might be able to see them 
You may not be able to see them because they're kind of small, but yeah. And I'm also wearing some Moonband bracelets as well. And honestly, I mean, I guess this outfit isn't bad, but it's definitely not my favorite. I don't really like this outfit I put together that much, so yeah. I feel like this is again another case of I kind of th like put together an outfit in my mind and I'm like, oh yeah, that's gonna look super cute. And then when I actually put it on, it's like disgusting. So like, yeah, that actually happened when I was making one of the outfits in my cottage core video that will also be in like in the corner of the screen, by the way. So yeah, and then in that case, I was able to like make it a better outfit. But then this time, I made it, I think I kind of made it better, but it's still kind of bad. So yeah, I don't really like this outfit that much. So let's just move on to the last outfit of this video. Okay, so for this uh, next outfit, for the final outfit in this video, I actually think this outfit is pretty cute, so it basically cancels out how ugly the last outfit was. But anyways, so for this outfit, I wanted to kind of, kind of have the illusion of overalls in this outfit, but since I don't own any overalls, I am just wearing this white ruffled tank top I own, as well as these white sunflower pajama shorts, and I'm just wearing this purple, this like pastel purple t-shirt under it. And I'm also wearing a couple of hair clips. I'm wearing two flower hair clips, two purple flower hair clips on both sides. And I actually have some like flower and butterfly stickers on my arms because I wanted to have some kind of like bracelets, but I didn't want to use the same bracelets I've used the past couple of outfits. So I decided to instead wear some cute little butter, some cute little like butterfly and flower stickers. And actually this shirt, it actually has some graphics on it. I'm just covering it up with this so you hopefully don't see it. And I'm also wearing some white ruffled socks from before and these like white flower shoes that I was complaining about earlier. So um, yeah, I actually think this outfit is pretty cute and honestly, these, the stickers are kind of uncomfortable on my skin, but I think they look pretty cute. And you could put some like stickers on your legs as well. I just did it on my arms. Again, it's kind of uncomfortable having stickers directly on my arms, but I think it's really cute. I actually really do like this outfit. But anyways guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to consider liking and subscribing to see more content like this on my channel. But anyways guys, hope you have a great day, night, afternoon. Bye guys!